I'm Lisa, the artist behind La Cream Fine Art. In today's social media tip for artists, we are going to talk about watermarking your work. First, I'm going to talk a bit about some of the pros and cons of doing this. The main thing against watermarking your work is that some people will claim that they can't truly appreciate the artwork because they can't really see it. The watermark's in the way. If your watermark isn't totally obnoxious and right in the middle of the piece and bright, bright white, it really isn't ruining the experience for most people. You're going to get a few people who are going to complain no matter what you do. You can't make some people happy. I don't think it's that big of a deal and most people expect to see watermarks on artwork that are posted online. I can say I have never ever had a buyer complain about the watermark that's been on my work. I've only had other artists complain which is kind of weird. I had a lady not too long ago who was taking a bunch of my Italian Greyhound work and having them reprinted onto pillows and coffee mugs and little trinkets like that and selling them at dog shows. What she didn't know is I have a lot of friends who show their dogs and so even though she was all the way on the other side of the country this information still got back to me. So when I contacted her, she claimed that she was totally surprised. She had no idea her son for Mother's Day had gotten her a, a disc with royalty-free images for her to print. I tried to get the information from her on who was selling this disc and all she would tell me was that her son paid $500 for it and that she couldn't get a hold of her son to find out who he bought it from. I am pretty sure that the son printed this himself and that there was no third party involved here. But the point is your work can very, very easily be stolen just off the internet. He pulled all this stuff off my website, which leads me into the next thing. Watermarks can be photoshopped out. It doesn't matter what you put on there. It can all be photoshopped out. It's kind of a thing that keeps the honest honest. He had photoshopped it out. He did a terrible job. The photos that I upload online are not high resolution, so the print quality was very, very low. The best thing that you can do when you upload your images online, because like I said, watermarks can be removed. I know how to do it myself. Anyone who's halfway competent with Photoshop can do this. Don't upload really large high resolution files of your paintings. Keep the DPI low to like 72, and the image files themselves fairly small so that you aren't having them ripped off. I mean, you want to show enough detail that people can see what you're creating creating, but you don't want it so large that it can easily be reproduced. And that's really where the argument comes in with the first person who's complaining how the watermark is ruining his experience of viewing the painting. They'll say that what difference does it make? It can be photoshopped out. Keeps the honest honest. The other benefit Beyond that is how often your photo is going to be shared, whether it be across Facebook or Pinterest or just or just from Google image searches. If you don't have a watermark on it, when this gets shared or downloaded and re-uploaded and that watermark's not on there, no one knows who painted that. I can't tell you how many times I've had friends share paintings that they found online, thought were beautiful, but no one had any idea who painted it. Had that artist put a watermark on it, the people who were sharing it wouldn't have removed the watermark. They were perfectly happy to give credit to the artist. They just didn't know who painted it. So by Putting that watermark on there, that just helps with your brand name like I was talking about last week. Getting your name out there, having people see it regularly and associate it with the work that you're doing. So in my opinion, I do think it's worth always watermarking your work. Most people are reasonable and are not going to complain about the watermark. They understand why we need to put that on our work. But in the end, you need to do what you're comfortable with. If you've decided that you do want to watermark your work, if you don't have a photo editor like Photoshop yourself or you're not familiar with using those tools, there are easy ways that you can get a watermark onto your work using PicMonkey. And there are other websites sites too. I'm just using them because they're easy to use. We are going to start by going over to pickmonkey.com. The link is below in the video description. When you get there, you're going to click the edit button at the very top of the page. That is going to open up a new menu. Now you're going to click on the little computer icon. From there, you're going to choose whichever image that you want to add a watermark to, and that's going to bring you to a new page. Now you've got a couple of options. First, I'm going to show you how to add text for your watermark. So go ahead and click on the little T's that are all the way to the left hand side. Now just choose your font and then hit add text at the top. This brings up a new menu all the way to the right. You can type in what text you actually want for your watermark in the little box and then you can use the little slider on the menu to the right to adjust the color and transparency. You can then move that text anywhere you like. If you want to get the copyright symbol and you're working on a PC, you're going to hold down the Alt key while typing 0169. You can also include your website if you've got one on this part of the watermark. If you're watching these videos, I'm going to assume you've already set up your social media accounts. So let's go ahead and add icons and your usernames to this image. First, you're going to click on the little butterfly icon all the way to the left. 
in a separate window or tab because we don't want to lose all of the work we've done so far on this image, you're going to do a quick Google search for Facebook icon, Twitter icon, Instagram icon, or whatever social media you want to add to this image. And just do it as an image search and lots of options will pop up. Go ahead and pick one of those and save it to your computer. Then back on PicMonkey, you can go ahead and click the your own option at the very top on the left hand menu section. I've opened my usual Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and then resized all of these icons and moved them where I want them to be. You can go back and adjust their positions later if needed. You can also adjust their transparency using the, me the menu to the right. Once you get your icons where you want them, you're going to follow the same steps we used earlier to add text for your usernames. When everything is just how you want it, you're going to click the Save button that is at the top menu right above your actual image. I mentioned earlier about not uploading high resolution images to the internet. Here is where we can adjust the size of our photo. I've reduced the width of my image to 600 pixels and reduced the image quality to the Roger option. For internet viewers, using the lower resolution options doesn't make a huge difference in most cases, but it does make for ter terrible prints for those who would be trying to make reproductions of our work. When you're done, you are just going to hit the save to my computer option and that's it. You're all finished. And that is all I've got for you guys today. If you're new to my channel, I have new video critiques every Tuesday where I'm critiquing your original paintings or drawings, my own speed paintings, drawings, and tutorials every Wednesday, social media tips for artists each Thursday, and artist vlogs every weekend. So if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe. And you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Google+, all those social media sites links are below in the video description to keep up with news, my newest work, and see real-time clips of whatever it is I'm currently working on. I'll see you guys this weekend.